name is Nera and I live in Ilusan, South Korea. This is my first saying hi to you on a YouTube video. So I'm sorry if I'm nervous and it's kind of awkward. I actually tried to film a more formalized introduction video and what I want to post on the, um, YouTube. But because of the COVID-19, I feel that it's not the appropriate time to post it. However, um, today I'm actually going to the supermarket and my friends and family, they're mostly are still in Indonesia and in Vancouver, Canada. And I've seen a lot of Instagram posts showing that um, people are trying to get uh, non-perishable food and most of them, they're um, ramyuns, instant noodles, or spam, or I don't know, canned sardines and whatnot. Not saying that they're bad, but I just want to share with you that if you have the options to go to a Korean grocery shop, Korean supermarket, there are options. So I'm just hoping that they still have things in stocks. Um, so you can just grab it and try it at home. While I was in Vancouver, I actually did shop a lot of this non-perishable food for my lazy days. I know that right now I'm in South Korea, so I have more options. But in Vancouver, there are a lot of Korean markets and I know they have a lot of options too. So I'm just trying to be careful and I'm just trying to remember which one I can really get in Vancouver and which one are actually in South Korea. So, um, ah, non-perishable food. So I hope with this video you get more options on your non-perishable food other than instant noodles and pastas and canned tomatoes. Um, that you will enjoy. It includes rice, so if you eat a lot of rice and for some reason the supermarket doesn't have rice at the moment, hopefully the Korean market will have this in stock. Um, I also wish that people will stop panic buying because it's not helping and I hope that everything will be restocked and we will be happy again. I'm all set to go but before I leave, I just want to show you. I actually already have some non-perishable food on this two shelves. They're not panic buying, they're not hoarding. They actually just for us to eat when I'm too lazy to cook. So it's really convenient and it's a really in my opinion a good idea to have at all time and behind this if you can take a peek at the green packets they're actually instant noodles packets and they're not I didn't buy them my parents in law gave it to us so I'm gonna show some of this to you later but for now let's go to the market arrived at the supermarket and already we can see the options of um, suits so this one is holongdang this one is um, seaweed soup I already have some at home so I'm not gonna buy anymore this one is the aisle for noodles but because we have a lot of instant noodles already we're not gonna get any more and then we get to this aisle so from here you can see that there are a lot of cooked rice 
instant rice. So they're actually cooked rice. I'm just gonna show you what varieties and uh, when we get home, I'll tell you how to make them. So this is um, black rice and this is mixed rice and the white rice are over there. And koppan, a lot of koppan. And this is juke or porridge. And if I go over here, you actually have some getna, which is um, the uh, ginseng chicken soup. I think I've, I'm not gonna get this, I'm just gonna show it to you. I think I've seen this or something similar to this in Vancouver. So that's your options too. And then there's curry, of course. Vancouver will have curry. And you will have something like this in Korean market too. Is black bean sauce. So instead of the curry, you can do the black bean sauce. This one's our meatballs. I know uh, for sure that there are um, chumchi or tuna um, in Vancouver. In Korean markets in Vancouver, but I just want to show you this whole shelf. This actually half of the Martinez and half of them right over there. They're stacked, so there's so many of them. Glorious pan. And actually, the spam in and um, South Korea they taste different from the ones in Canada. I will ask my husband again why it was. He told me once, but it's actually less greasy and it's tastier, a little bit. We are actually gonna get this one because my husband loves red meat. And we're here at the gyoza or dumpling section. I know that there are a lot of Chinese options in Vancouver, but maybe once in a while, maybe you want to try the Korean ones. They're actually pretty good. It's different, but it's, yeah, it's pretty good. So this one, I know for sure that there are some in the uh, Korean markets in Vancouver. There's dongurang thing. It's like meatballs. It's actually flat. about this one but I'm just gonna get this because my husband will I think I would rather make it fresh but just for the sake of this video I'm just gonna get it I'm gonna try it too Oops. okay oh I also want to show this so I think there are some in Vancouver as well and you can just like put it in microwave and there you have your tickets or soup so I'm not sure how many varieties that they have like this one is yuki dung so there are actually veggies and a little bit of meat so that's why they're in the refrigerator section but this is an option for you too so you can keep it you don't really have to have fresh ingredients it would be good but in this case you don't really have to have fresh ingredients to make your soup so if you find one of this in your Korean market just know that it's one of the options for you the Korean variety of the non-perishable foods as well as the frozen foods for your options. 
please do not panic buy. I believe that there is enough food and the government will stock up food for you. And I just want to say this is another option for you um, just to minimize your going out and having to go to grocery stores and whatnot. The first one will be the frozen food items. This Korea gyoza or mandu. Um, I know there are a lot of options. Um, the varieties for the Chinese or even the um, Japanese maybe. I'm not sure. But it tastes different. Most of the Korean mandus have um, glass noodles in it or maybe tofu in some varieties. So it's really good to try. And you can steam it, you can pan fry it, um, or you can deep fry it. It's all up to you. The second one from the frozen food is bongurang thing. So the seed, uh, this is meatballs, Korean meatballs, but they're actually not round. They're more flat and they have pieces of vegetables in it so you can pan fry it. Um, I usually put it in my instant noodles as well sometimes when I'm really hungry. So this is also a good option for you. And last but not least for the uh, frozen food items, this is patty. So, like in Western countries, I don't know why I said that. Like in Canada or US, you have the hamburger patties. This is actually um, bulgogi patties. So, tokkalbi or bulgogi patties. So, you just have to pan fry it for about three minutes each side. And you can put it in burger, salad, or you can eat it with rice and kimchi. I know that I've missed a lot on the other um, frozen food sites, but this is just um, a picture for you that there are a lot more varieties for you to stock up on your food. Now I'm going to go on to the uh, non-perishable foods, um, starting from the soup ones. So this is just a regular cream mushroom soup, but it's not actually powder. It's ready, it's liquid ready, so you can uh, pour it on a bowl, uh, pop it in the microwave for about 2 minutes and 30 seconds, or you can just put the pouch inside a boiling water for about 3 to 4 minutes, and it's pretty yummy too. The next one for the soup categories, they are this um, kalbi tang or gamja tang or any soups basically that you can find. You don't have to refrigerate it. It actually, it blew my mind, it actually contains um, the ingredient of the soup. So it should contain beef. And this one should contain um, pork and the veggies. But you don't have to refrigerate this. So you can just keep it in your pantry and you can, again, you can microwave it or you can actually pour it um, onto the pan and heat it for about three to four minutes. So this is a yummy option as well. And not necessarily a soup, this is um, jjuk. This is actually pandan pakjuk. So this is, um, there's a chestnut and red beans um, porridge. Koreans love this and my husband really loves this and that's why I bought this one. Um, but there are other items that are more savory as well. So I saw I think um, juice with shrimps and the other options if you don't like sweet stuff. So this is an option as well. Again, you can pop this into microwave or put the pouch in the boiling water for about 10 minutes. The one that I have shown you before is this rice. They're actually cooked rice. Um, there, there are a lot of varieties of it. Um, you just have to sprinkle a little bit of water, like open it a little bit, halfway through probably. Sprinkle it a little bit of water uh, just to make sure that it's moist. And pop it in the microwave for about two minutes with the cover on. And then when it's done, you just rip off the lid and you 
enjoy the rice. So this is an option for you if you're looking for rice. Or this is headband. So inside there's a pack of this instant rice, cooked rice, and whatever side dishes that is actually showing here. So um, let me know if you want me to open this and show it to you and show you how to migrate this. But right now, because we just moved in, I don't have my microwave yet, so I'm not able to show it to you yet. But let me know if you want to see it. Um, it's actually, there's actually a picture here. There's the rice and then a pouch of whatever the side dish. This is bulgogi topak, so this is bulgogi. And this one is pan, spam mayo. It's pretty delicious and we actually eat this a lot whenever we're really really lazy I am lazy to cook or and we don't want to order in or we don't want to go out so this is our lazy food and this is also the reason why we have a lot of this um, not to hoard not for panic buying just stocking up so we have options when um, nothing else works the next one I am not sure that Vancouver has it, but probably they will or they should, but maybe something similar like this. Um, um, this one is a humbar steak and this one is meatballs and they have like kodumum or the fish that you can just basically protein and you can just microwave it. And the more popular one is them. And Tuna. So basically this is canned tuna. It has uh, cooked tuna uh, marinated in oil inside. So you can just like, uh, you can pan fry it. You can eat it straight from the can. Um, one of my favorite methods of cooking it is actually drain the tuna from the oil and crack eggs and chop add chopped onion, salt and pepper, mix it well, and then just like pan fry it as if you're making pancakes. So it's really good. And my husband loves this. I don't quite like it um, because I'm not really a fan of cooked tuna. The reason why I buy it because, of course, because my husband will definitely eat it. Sometimes he asks for it, but because it got this free container so you can put whatever leftovers from this one <sighs> I'm such an Ajuma that's all for the frozen food and Korean non-perishable food options I really hope this is gonna help you next time that you go out shopping for emergency preparedness or just for lazy days basically let me know if you've tried one of this and if you like it and let me know also if you want me to try cooking one of this to show you actually how it looks inside. Alright, see you next time!